Men are so unserious. Let's talk about it. So there's this guy that I see all the time and we always talk in passing when we see each other. I do not have this man's number. We've never seen each other outside of where we always see each other. But the other day, he's like, I need to talk to you. I'm like, okay, cool. Pull me to the side. He's like, I really like you. I'm interested in you. I'm really feeling you but i just know i'm not ready for you mind you we've never went on any dates never talked on the phone he don't even have my number so the feeling is not mutual i have class so i'm listening also you know you gassing me up so i'm all ears but i'm just like okay thank you thank you so i finish doing what i'm doing and later when i'm about to leave he comes and get me again and he like so what do you think about what i said and i'm like you high you know what i'm saying like i said like you cool and shit like I respect it. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't feel the same way about you. I, the way that I talk to you and greet you, and I, that's how I talk to everybody. I'm just a friendly person. I'm very social, but trust me, when I like somebody, they know I like them. <laughs> so I'm like, um, I respect it, and I think that it's very commendable for you to come up to me and for you to even like recognize that. That's what I say. I guess I could have just said I don't like you, but either way, that's not the point. The point is. I get on Instagram a few days later and this man has a whole fucking girl. I almost fell. This man has a whole girlfriend. A girlfriend that he's been dating for a long time. And again, I'm not interested in him. So I'm not even tripping that you're off the market. I could care less. It's just that you are so unserious. I was minding my business. You was minding your business. Like, why offer a lot to somebody, especially knowing that, like, we follow each other? <laughs> what the fuck? But, child, anyway, girl, but I said all that to say that mental illness is at an all time high. Clearly, something is, you're insane in the membrane. Because, I need, you came up to me. You could have just remained faithful. You could have just stayed where you was at. But you came up to me being a dog. But wait. Fellas, you see how women mind works? At first, she wasn't that interested in him. But as soon as she realized, oh shit, he got a girl? Her mind became extremely curious. Now all of a sudden, she's getting angry. The nerve of, of him to waste my time and all this shit. Listen, man, it is what it is. With women, once they peep that you got a girl and things like that, they ain't gonna hold you. They gonna want you even more. Matter of fact, sometime a chick wouldn't even want you. But from the time she peeped that you got a girl, her mind become curious. That's how women mind works. It's backwards, bro. Hence the reason why she made this video bitter. And to be honest with you, it sound like the dude smash. It sound like homie crack and sent her ass back to the streets. And if he didn't crack, he got a good chance to crack. Because all of a sudden, she wants him now. Fellas, y'all gotta know how to use women against women because guess what if you catch one bird you could catch two because you could use that same one bird to catch more y'all gotta know how to use these birds man it is what it is but nevertheless man this shit is just crazy right here oh my god is that a mermaid hey <laughs> are you a mermaid no bitch oh what is that oh oh my god it's a whale <laughs> Hey boo, this is just your weekly reminder that you don't need to link with that guy in real life that's always replying to your Instagram stories. Some men's purpose in life is just to be your hype man on the internet, nothing more. Bye. Fellas, this is why as a man, cherish your validation. Stop giving it away. These type of chicks will never respect you if you be on their Instagrams, liking all their pics, in their DMs, acting all thirsty and shit like that because the dudes who they smashing don't even like their Instagram pics. That's how crazy it is. So the worst thing that a man could do is to be a groupie to a woman. That's the worst thing you could ever do. Don't chase them, bro. Chase your purpose. Let them chase you. That's the bottom line, fellas. Be a good man, don't be a nice guy. And what that meant in our world was, hey man, when you're confronted with something where you need to fit in and do something that's against your character and your values and beliefs, you don't need to be a nice guy. You need to be a good man, right? Something comes up, you need to stand up for something that you believe in. Be a good man, don't be a nice guy. If a man loves me more, 
if he's too nice, it's not sweet no more. Exactly. It, it, Facts. But, but Facts. That's true, Fair. Yeah, you small. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> but it's not loving doesn't have to necessarily associate itself with being nice. Like you can love me more. I know being too nice. But you're not ever too nice. Mm. I can love you. Just as much as you love me, but as long as you love me just a little more than I love you, we'll always be good. Mm. Because then okay. I'm co- like I'm, what's the what's the word? That reassurance that I need, I mm. always got it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like I'm sh- I'm so straight. Love me, I love me, I love you. Bullshit. Listen, I thought she was onto something at first, but looks like she's onto nothing. Here's the thing, fellas. If you ever hear a woman say some shit like this, as long as you love me a little bit more than I love you, then we're going to be all right. Leave her alone. This is what you call an attention whore. Okay, I understand what that means. Women like her crave men attention. And from the time that you don't give her that attention that she craves, she's going to go seek it elsewhere. You can't wife up a chick like this all right as a man you never want to love your girl more than she love you your girl should always love you more than you love her facts and as a man to be honest with you you shouldn't even be in love you should be in love with your purpose now you can love your girl but you shouldn't be in love with your girl because you got to remember love is blind all right keep that in mind fellas but from the time you hear a girl say some shit like this, oh, as long as he loves me more than I love him, we gonna be happy. Mm-mm. This is a woman who just seeking a man attention. She want all, all the attention on her. And that's a red flag. Leave her alone, keep away from chicks like this. I got broken up with because I posted this video on my story. <laughs> That shit is crazy. Okay, broken up with is dramatic as I was only talking to him for three weeks and we went on one date. But after I posted that story, he was so annoyed with me. He basically told me that he doesn't do God best friends um, with the girls that he's speaking to. And if he's pursuing someone, he just doesn't really respect the fact that I'm, you know, I have a male in my life that I love real bad. Now, some of you may be as confused as me because this is literally my best friend of six years. He's like my brother at this point and I would never even look at him a certain way. But this guy was serious and he was not letting up on this boundary that he had placed. So the only thing I could do was respect it. I explained to him what the situation was, that it was not like that, but he wasn't hearing it. So he cut me off. So now I'm just sitting here like, damn, was it really that deep? It's over for you thoughts. It's over. It, it, it ain't that time. It's over for y'all. The, the other thoughts made it bad for you. Man, it's crazy, man. Listen, fellas, this is why if you dealing with a girl and she says that she have a male best friend, leave her alone that is not your girl that could never be your girl understand who that girl is this dude right here this is his side chick okay this is the one dude that will smash her whenever he want to smash her and he's never gonna wife her up he probably got a girl that's why it's okay for her to have a boyfriend that's why he probably like do your thing like start your relationship he's probably trying to get her away from him but sometimes when you got that one chick who don't want to go away you got to turn her into your little side piece best friend right so whenever you come across a girl and she hits you with, with the yo i have a male best friend and regardless of what he's not going anywhere because i know him for shorty just say you sucking a nigga dick man knock it off that's all that shit really be just say the, the man don't want to be with you and this is your only way of sticking around you know what i'm saying because fellas focus on yourself out here bro pay attention to the signs and don't be a fool. All right, it is what it is, man. Please leave your thoughts in the comments. I'm out.